So I'm here with Lance Holdner. Nice to meet you, Lance. Nice to meet you. So where about are you from originally? Uh, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? Where in Saskatchewan? Uh, Saskatoon. Saskatoon. So can you describe how it was growing up in Saskatoon? Well, I, I was on a farm in a small town 50 miles south of Saskatoon, but uh, uh, it was it was work. It was uh, it was like I would imagine. It was great, freaking great. We got spoiled rotten, had motorcycles and guns, and <laughs> the '60s were great, man. Uh, kids had responsibilities, and we took them seriously. Uh, I get to play now because I'm in my 60s, so uh, everything, uh, well, I mean, Jesus, just the goddamn money I paid in income tax in my fucking lifetime, the government should have been able to do something uh, <laughs> that people shouldn't be paying this shit anymore, like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of Apple computers? <laughs> Why didn't you invest in that? Uh, <laughs> even Petro Canada shares, and we own it. Oh, we used to own it. I think we dumped Petro Canada. Anyway, that's a bad one. Yeah, yeah, that's where. But then uh, Saskatoon uh, in grade 10. So, what bring you to British Columbia? Uh, life, uh, court, fucking cops, uh, just life, life, uh, war. You mind going more in depth about that? Huh? Do you mind going more in depth? Well, I just, uh, got into a battle with a fucking police force and justice system in Saskatchewan and, and uh, I was brought up they work for me uh, and uh, when you abuse your authority I really don't like that sort of shit and, and it's just the way I was brought up from my my uncle freaking uh, and, and laws were meant for everybody to follow uh, uh, I do the crime, I'll do the time. But they don't play fair, those Saskatoon police officers. Or did their prosecutors. So how long have you been in Vancouver? Uh, 23, 24 years. Can you talk about how it's been the last 23, 24 years? Well, Life anywhere, I would imagine. Uh, maybe uh, a little less 40 below weather than Winnipeg might have, but uh, we don't have uh, the blue bombers either. <laughs> You're going to get me shot in the alley here. <laughs> no, we're good. So, what, how can you describe East Hastings for people that? aren't familiar with it. Well, geez, you uh, don't look the animals in the eyes. Uh, bring food, maybe. Uh, feeding them's good. Uh, Ten dollar bills always help. <laughs> That'll clear a street corner real quick. What are, the, what are some of the things that you've seen? Well, that's a question you should probably ask Snoop Dogg because uh, <laughs> he seemed to be kind of shocked. The boys said that one right up real good for him. <laughs> oh, well, I, I've seen shit I, I've seen in downtown medicine hat. Like what? Well, uh, go take a look. Let's go take a look. <laughs> it's, it's half a block away. But that's the beautiful thing of Vancouver. Crazy's half a block away, and this is Serenity, and we can go and relax in the park. Uh, have you been to Crab Park and seen that tent city there? Uh, Hastings is like escape from fucking New York now. Um, 
there's a housing crisis and, and Vancouver's like this only because people don't want to be homeless and out of fucking money and work uh, in Montreal in February. Uh, I imagine the jails are full when it's 40 below. It's, it's so what led you to the streets? <laughs> Boy, that is getting personal, man. Uh, a war with fucking... What led me to the streets of... Shit, a hard head, maybe, I guess I could say. Yeah, now that I'm, I'm growing a little older and maybe gain a little humility, uh, takes two to tango. I don't know, fucking, I don't need what other people need. Um, freedom, I guess. Do you, what's your drug of choice that you prefer? Well, my drug of choice, MDA, which I can't get anymore because uh, the government's illegalized the three chemical or the chemical we need to make it. And they can't synthesize it. And it's a beautiful drug. Uh, and it would get rid of all this shit because why would you do anything other than that? One little wee dinky line and, and it's beautiful going up and it's beautiful coming down and the whole trip's beautiful. People need something though. Well, I don't know, uh, it's probably time to go to your sporting goods store and buy a gun. Um, the way the world's going, but I don't think a gun's gonna help uh, when a hundred thousand nuclear weapons pass over our heads. Uh, Hopefully, we'll be in Saskatchewan <laughs> at a rider's game, maybe. So, what do you do instead of MDA? Uh, well, whatever I can afford. Uh, beer's getting awful expensive. Uh, uh, but the only drug I can afford is coffee. I like cocaine, uh, but I mean, we don't get it anymore. We get robbed every day. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, there's no fucking drugs. The cops send out uh, the Drug Users Association, or the government sends out people to buy uh, and test this shit, and it's like 3%. It's synthetics. It's They're trying, but it's, it's time to Amsterdam this shit. And, and and like our prime minister says, quit fucking around. We don't need to spend another six hundred million on studies. Uh, we don't need to fuel black markets and gangs and and have people shooting each other over this shit. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about the police taking away the tents? Well. They're not the ones taking away the tents. They're just the bad guys sent to do the job. They're not the fucking bad guys here. Uh, the government gives them an order. Their chief follows the order he's given. Uh, they're just the, the poor bastards that got to look like the bad guys. Uh, the Vancouver police are fucking excellent. <laughs> uh, other police forces could learn a little from these people. There's a little more serious problems in the fucking world than uh, some poor bastard with a crack pipe. Uh, I mean, all this shit. Look at Amsterdam. Overnight, 98% of the home break-ins, fucking robberies, gone, stop, done. Your drugs aren't worth anything anymore because you're getting them free. Uh, You've got a green zone that's very strictly enforced. Um, you get caught with dope outside that green zone, or I would imagine selling it, but who's gonna buy it? All you gotta do is go tell your doctor. Uh, it's supposed to be confidential, but hey, only a doctor knows what drugs he's doing. I don't know. Uh, but uh, you're taking responsibility away from 
the kids, uh, they just handed everything. And, and the, and the so what are some of the crazier things you've seen and witnessed on East Hastings? Well, Jesus Christ. Uh, people not respecting a 10,000 pound fucking bus rolling down the street at 30 mile an hour and just walk in front of it. Uh, so it's maybe suicidal, uh, but that comes with the breakdown of society. Uh, suicides and fucking drug use and gambling and fucking uh, Lucifer's running wild, baby. No, if anybody can get a handle on it, Mr. Trudeau will. Uh, he needs to hire people like with a little more experience, uh, you know, not rely so much on these college people. Because uh, look at the guy they got telling the kids about marijuana. Was, that fucking guy still lives in his fucking mommy's basement. He probably, I don't know, fuck. Look at the guy. He's never smoked a joint in his fucking life. What do you know about it? You know nothing. Yeah, you told me in the 60s that I'd, I'd immediately be on heroin if I smoked a joint. Uh, so it took me 20 years to get somebody to find me heroin just so I could try it, and I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Like, yeah, that's just, just, just horrible. Like, holy fuck, are we having fun yet? Nodding and puking and scratching and fuck. I don't get it. And it's it's getting really. They got to do something. Like so doctors got to start looking after this. They got a little more control. There's like fucking kids. Like fucking. I, I'm old, old. So a kid might be 20, you know, and and they're perfectly capable. Well, it depends whether they're working kids or I've known. 14 year olds with more on the ball than some of these fucking 30 year olds I see here. Uh, but everybody's raised differently. You can't judge nobody till you walk a mile in their shoes. And uh, So what do you think can be done to help people? Help people? Uh, Shit, I don't know, get them some fucking houses. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I know pretty much everybody down here, man, and uh, I don't know a lot of real frowning people. Uh, um, most of these people you see down here that, that cause shit aren't from down here. They're, they either just moved here and they're all about selling dope and robbing people, or, or but I mean, the doctors could get rid of all this shit. Um, our Prime Minister has tried to put his foot down, they won't listen, their, their little, uh, their little protest is handing out Dilly 8s like they're fucking candy, because uh, they don't want to deal with the problem and look like the dope dealers. But you're not the dope dealers, you're the saviors. Like, uh, just take a little, you don't need another study, look at what it did in Amsterdam. And, like, I'd have to see it firsthand, uh, to believe it, uh. But I'd really like to do this on the on the steps of the police station in Saskatoon someday. Uh, I'm going to probably anyway. <laughs> uh, just just to go to court one more time. But. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Oh, it's not a problem, dude.